Welcome to the tutorial movie number four, Review AI Plans. I assume that you've already done tutorial movie number three, Contingency Planning. If you haven't done so already, launch the game and open the save game shoot at start with orders. It's now time to start the game running, but we're only going to do this for about five minutes just enough time to let the AI develop its plans, so we can review them. There are five run buttons. Pause, slow, normal, fast, and run until. Select slow. Note, time ticks over. Units information boxes will change to show the ta current task and units will start to move. Hit the pause button or the space bar. The game stops. Note, our two attacking battalions have an attack mission or task icon. Their subordinates either have a reorg or a move. For the 35th tank battalion they're defending. To best review your plan, you first need to know how your force is organized or structured. You use the force structure type button on the display toolbar to set the active type. Roll the cursor over and you should see that it says the current active type is the player structure. Click it once and now it'll show that it's the current structure. Select the first 318th Battalion. Note it only has two green subordinate lines. One to the Battalion Mortars and the other to A Company. You can use the cursor or arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate the force structure. Hit the down arrow and this will select A Company. Note it has two green subordinate lines to B and C Company. For this attack, A Company will be controlling the assault group. The headquarters will be located with the mortars at the reserve location. Another way of viewing this is to use the OB display on the sidebar. Double click the first 318th. This will open its OB display and here we can clearly see the structure with B, C and the anti-tank platoon subordinated to A Company. Select CCA Headquarters and the OB display refreshes with its information. Note it only shows four units being subordinated. That's because you, the player, took its three battalions under your direct command. Now toggle the player structure type button till it shows the player structure. Note you now see all the units under its command, although the three battalion headquarters are at the same level. They are also coloured pink. Pink entries are those that have direct orders from you, the player. Toggle the force structure button again to show the organic structure. Scroll down the list and note there's a whole lot of greyed out entries. These are inactive and represent your reinforcements. There's a lot of them still to come, hey? For the organic structure only, you can filter out entries for on-map, reinforcement and dead units. You don't have any dead ones yet. Click the on-map filter button at the bottom and now you have a complete list of your reinforcements. Toggle this back on and toggle the reinforcements off. Now you have a complete list of your active units on-map. We'll set that back so that it's displaying all of them. 
Now toggle the structure button to show current. Select the 51st Armoured Infantry Battalion Headquarters. Its order icon is here. These other icons are its task icons created by the AI when it developed its plan based on your order. Note that the plan task icons have a grey background while the order icon has a white background. Typically for an attack there should be a reserve, a move to the forming up place, a reorg at the FUP, an assault and then a final reorg task. In this case there's no move to the FUP as the battalion is already there. Hold down the control key and hit the down arrow key to select the first plan task. In this case that's the reserve defend task. Hit the down arrow key again and it will select the next one which is the FUP. Remember we don't have a move to the FUP because the headquarters starts close enough already. Hit the down key again and we'll select the assault task and again the final reorg task at the final objective. Note, as you do the plan tasks, details are displayed in the sidebar. Let's go back to the assault task. Note that its formation is in successive lines, which means the units will be one behind the other with each unit in line. Note also that the assault starts at 0617 and runs for 20 minutes. Now in the previous movie on contingency planning I mentioned that you should wait till the AI has developed its attack plan for the 51st before committing to the defend task on the hill here. I reckon the 51st will have cleared the hill by around 0630. So you can now issue a defend order to B Battery 489 Automatic Weapons Battalion. Just to be sure, select B Battery and recalc its route again. Its estimated duration is around 24 minutes. Double click to end the tool hit the D key, shortcut for defend, and select the forward edge of the hill to place a defend task. Click on the facing control and orient the facing so that it's towards Lomas Vila. Select line formation. This will ensure maximum firepower to the front. Note, the start time is scheduled for 0608. If we had our 24 minute duration to move to the objective, they should arrive at 0632. Now that's two minutes after when we thought we'd like to be there at 0630. But a two minute buffer uh, is not a bad thing at this stage because the 51st may take longer to actually clear the enemy out. We could set the speed to fastest, that would see them arrive there in probably around about 16 minutes rather than 24, about two-thirds their normal speed. That would probably see the unit arrive too early and we don't really want that because they would end up leading the charge and be unsupported. So we'll leave the start time as is and we'll leave the speed as is. Set aggro to max this will maximize their probability of firing at the enemy. Set their rate of fire to rapid. This will mean they'll fire very fast. Set their ammo to max, which will mean they won't worry about their ammo expenditure. This will give you the maximum effect on any enemy coming down the road. 
Now we need to do the same thing for B Company 35th Tank. Select B Company and redetermine its quickest path to the forward edge of the hill. Note, it's around 19 minutes. Double click to end the tool, hit the D key, and place a defend task on the forward edge of the hill. Set its formation to line, facing towards Lomas Vila, aggro to max, rate of fire rapid, ammo max. Now as it stands, B Company is only going to take 19 minutes to get to the objective, whereas B Battery is going to take 24. That's a 5 minute difference. We really want them to arrive at the same time, so we need to delay B Company by 5 minutes. To do that, we set the start time to 0613 instead of 0608. To do that, just click once and it increments it by 5 minutes. We, could, we can increment further, but to go backwards, we right click. We can adjust it up by 1 by holding the control key down. And we can reverse it by right clicking. So there, we now have B Company starting 5 minutes after B Battery and hopefully they'll arrive at the objective at the same time. The reason for creating two separate orders here, one for B Battery and one for B Tank Company, is that if the second trigger occurs, i.e. the enemy front line routes across the river, you can abandon B Company's defend task by selecting B Company and hitting the reattach button. This will revert it to being under command of 35th Tank Battalion Headquarters and then you can order the entire tank battalion to move across the river and attack towards Lomas Vila. Now click on the 22nd Field Artillery Battalion Note that this unit info box shows that it's doing a defend task, but its planned task icon is an on-call support task. The reason this is different is that artillery units that can bombard are automatically placed on on-call when defending. This way they can respond to requests for fire support from any unit subordinated to their boss, in this case CCA4. We've issued some more orders, so save the game. And we'll save it as Tute Review AI Plans. Take some time to examine the AI plans that have been developed for your other forces. And when you're ready, Fire up tutorial movie number 5, Monitor and React. See you then.